Gentlemen, right off the rip, let's get this straight. What this will not be is some eight-hour video, some monologue for me, just going in on some, some fancy science stuff, covalent bonds, all that shit. I'm going to give it to you straight. I'm going to give it to you simple. And I'm going to just tell you what I did to get from here to here. If you want to do it, great. If you don't, it's up to you. I don't really care. So let's get into this. Bang, bang. So let me take a wild guess. You feel like you eat a bunch of food, but you never gain any size. You just don't have an appetite, right? And and since you're watching this video, I'm going to take another guess that you probably have had moments where you go to the gym six, seven days a week for like a month, and then you stop because you don't see any progress. I've been there. Maybe, maybe you've even researched so much that you just, you're a hard gainer. You've been dealt a genetic shit hand. You're fucked. Not true. I have been there. Feel like you're stuck in this cycle. That mindset that you're fucked, there's nothing you could do, is shit. And you need to change that. Because I've been there, dude. Look, I was, I was literally a worm, bro. A worm. Look at my back. I'm, I'm all hunched. And if this is you, good. Because I've been there. So I, I am literally, I can help you out because I've been here. All right, let's keep going. So for me, when I started applying stuff that was super simple, I started to get actual gains. I started to gain actual size. It's just I would follow all this crazy hoobla hoobla, and I, and I could never stick to it. It wasn't sustainable. So until I found something that was super simple that I'm going to tell you guys, that's when I got from here to here. So the basic thing, the basic principle, right? One of my best friends, he's a bodybuilder. He told me, he's like, Nate, if you want to get big, you got to eat big. What? I used to be in denial about this shit. I was like, no, you can just, you just have protein, you just have creatine. You lift, you're good. That's all you need. You don't need to eat. And that's a lie. You can't just like spawn mass, dude. You have to intake food to gain mass. So you got this. These numbers right here, you got 21 through 7. Based off what you're trying to do, if, if, you're, if you're a big boy watching this video, good, perfect. You can go down here and you take your weight. Let's, let's say for Jimmy, he's 155 pounds. He wants to just be a ribeye. wants to get fucking massive. Multiplies his weight times 21 equals 3,255 calories a day. Bang. Simple. That's what he has to do. If you're on the opposite spectrum, just multiply it by seven, whatever it is. That, that's the extreme on both sides. And then you adjust as you go. If you're gaining too much weight or losing too much weight, dial it back. That's what I did. So how I put on 20 pounds of muscle. Because for me, I wanted to be lean. I didn't want to be you know, pudgy. I wanted to be lean. I wanted to be cut. This is what I did. I lifted four days a week. Four days a week. That's it. I don't, I don't think you need to go seven, eight days, eight days. <laughs> Eight times a week. I don't think you need to do that. And the reason being is if you're, for me, when I was at the gym four days a week, I was in a caloric surplus. Calories in, calories out. I knew I was getting a lot in, right? And because of this, I just kept it super simple and I grew because I showed up every single week. And there's also a hack that not enough people talk about when it comes to building an aesthetic body, like building a good looking frame. And certain muscles matter more than others, plain and simple. Like you should never hit legs. No, no, you should, you should hit legs. But the premise is triceps, shoulders, abs, like this is my split on Monday. They matter a ton. Like guys, if you look at this right here, I, was, I think I was 163 pounds here. Here I was 170. Obviously, I, you know, I was more cut. I was more lean. But the main reason was the shoulders, you know, the triceps, the chest, all that stuff. It matters, dude, 100%. It, you're being more effective with your time. And then Wednesday, I would hit back. Friday, chest, biceps, Sunday, legs. And I would do compound lifts. And the principle that I went off here is if I had a bunch of food and I had a bunch of rest, I could push a bunch of weight. And every single week, my weights would go up. I would take notes on my phone. My weight would go up every single week. All right, so the best diet is the one that lasts. Right? I'm not, I'm not your coach here. But what I did is I ate one gram of protein for every pound of body weight, right? So when I weighed 170 pounds, I did 170 grams of protein, right? People, people go, you know, 1.5, 2 grams. This is what worked for me, right? And I, and I like simple stuff because simple lasts. So three meals a day, I can never be the type of person that eats six meals a day. It's, I, dude, I got shit I got to do three meals a day because eating to me is a chore. 
So what I did was breakfast, at least four eggs. If, you know, when I was going for a bulk, just putting on a shitload of mass, I'd eat six eggs, bagel with peanut butter, protein shake, creatine. Lunch, pound of ground beef, 80-20 cut with side of rice or potatoes. Right there, that's 100 grams of protein. That's 1,300 calories with rice. Almost 14. Nuts. Dinner, chicken and rice with barbecue or repeat lunch. Do two pounds of ground beef a day, dude. You, you will literally put on just utter mass. <laughs> or, or I would do like a steak, a ribeye. I like, you know, high fat steaks. I think they're good. Salmon and just, just including carbs with it. And then for snacks, nuts, beef jerky, protein bars, peanut butter. I eat cookie dough every once in a while. Stuff like that. Girls love ice cream, so you got to get ice cream every once in a while. And the kind of realization I came to, I'm not dieting for taste. My, my, my friend would always say the CT, CT Fletcher quote, we're not dying for taste, motherfucker. It's true. It's true. And I would just get myself at Walmart or Costco. And then when you start balling, you can go to Sprouts, Whole Foods, get some grass-fed shit. You know, the pasture-raised eggs or whatever. Yeah, some good stuff. So, unpopular opinion. You don't grow in the gym. What? You grow when you sleep. Plain and simple. So, sleep is key. Sleep matters. So, for what I did to sleep hack is black out your room. You can do a sleep mask, right? If you don't have, you know, the ability to black out your windows, whatever it is, you can do a sleep mask. That works. And I set the temperature as cold as possible. I go in the 60s, like mid-60s. If you can't, just, you know, get a fan, crack a window open. Do what you can, man. Right? Complaining ain't going to fix it. Just do what you can. And then no screens. No fucking screens. Not in the bed. I don't, don't, don't matter who, like, who texts you. I get crazy shit happens. But just make it a priority. No screens. Don't watch TV in bed either. That shit's, no, that's dumb. And then read fiction before bed. Read like a bedtime story. Like our parents used to tuck us in. It's the same shit. Just read a bedtime story. Another thing, too, for sleep that's going to help you out is, like, if you're drinking, bro, it's, it, you're not going to sleep well. That shit fucks up your REM sleep. Same with smoking dough. Hot take. Don't hate the player, hate the game. So what this doesn't mean is that you can never go out, right? You can never go out for dinner. You can't. You can't. You're on a diet, bro. You can't go out. That's not true. And what it doesn't mean is you can never have sweets again. That's not true. It's just you have sweets less often. That's it. Because you're disciplined. That's it. And you have to track every meal you ever eat. That's a lie. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't tracked a meal probably two years. Plain and simple. Because I know what I eat now. Right? Your, your diet, you, we're creatures of habit. You get to a point where you start kind of eating the same shit. And you already know what's in it. So you don't have to track it anymore. That, the, the freedom, guys, is in the discipline. I promise you. It just takes a while to build. So this doesn't matter as much as you think. And that's supplements. People think like, oh, dude, the supplements, you know, it, it, dude, it's really not that big of a deal. This is like 1%, 1 to 5%. So supplements that I take, magnesium glycinate before bed, you know, I, crazy fucking dreams, sleep like a baby, five grams of creatine. This is every day. I still have creatine. Um, I took circadian PM. So th this is something you should take to help me sleep because my circadian rhythms, they were kind of effed up. And the reason I found this out is I did my blood work. Like it's extremely important to know your body because if you, if you do all these things and you get your blood work done, like, dude, you could be, you could be fucked up. Like plain and simple. You could have low tests, low growth, you know, high cortisol levels, whatever it is, but you got to get your blood work done. That's extremely important. You know, if it's, it's anywhere from like a hundred to 200 bucks, I think when, like when I did mine, it's usually 150. So that's my advice. Blood work matters. Cause then you kind of know where you're at, where your levels are at doctors. They might give you advice, help you out. So watch science, bro. You know, YouTube stuff. If you guys want any other stuff for me, it's, I, I just like to keep it simple, dude. I'm a simple guy and simple works. So with that being said, if you guys liked the video, I hope it provided you some value. Um, without that too, if you guys want to join the community, it's free. We do weekly calls, talk about biohacking, talk about business, making money in health. And like I said, it is free, which is dope. So I will see you boys in the next one. Take care. Stay large. See ya.